Hey guys, so summer 17 is just around the corner. Cali is warming up and I thought I'd bring you guys top five summer sneakers under 160 bucks. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So in no particular order, I love all my sneakers. My top five summer sneakers for 2017 that are all under 160 bucks. Let's get straight into the review, guys. Number one. So number one is the Nike Lab Dunk Lux Low in the Arctic Orange colorway. Yeah guys, when the summertime comes around and things start heating up, you have to bring out that pink. I'm not talking about killer cam pink, but I'm talking about that subtle pink that casually coordinates with some of your outfits. In addition to that, I really like this shoe because it has high quality leather on it, as you can see, and also the color is very unique. Not everybody has the cojones to rock pink when it comes to sneakers and personally I like it when it's a subtle pink I don't know about a super super bright pink but subtle pink works for me number two so number two the classic Air Force One these particular ones were made by Nike Lab man you guys need to check out Nike Lab for those of you who love good leather on sneakers check out Nike Lab they have a whole bunch of sleepers on Nike Lab that have quality leather this is one of them here and they have an assortment of colors when it comes to these particular Nike Lab Air Force Ones but anyways the leather on these particular shoes are super tumbled you can see it as I press in it is very very tumbled and has good quality when it comes to some Summer sneakers, everybody has these general rules of what summer sneakers are. Me personally, I don't care as long as they look good, as long as the aesthetics are good. Do they look good? Yes, sir. Yes, they do. I like them. Good summer shoes. Bar. Hold up, bring that verse back. Do they look good? Yes, they do. I like them. Good summer shoes. Bar. But, anyways. Going with this shoe right here, another thing that I really like about this shoe, it is very comfortable. Nerd alert! According to Nike, the insole has ultra plush cushioning called Lunar Lawn. That's why it is so comfortable. Like, if you put your feet into the sneaker, you'll be like, is this really an Air Force One? It is very comfortable. Number three. So number three, the Adidas Stan Smith with Boost. Man, oh man, I've said it so many times. You can never go wrong with a good pair of Stan Smiths. Plus Boost just adds the extra icing on the top of the cake when it comes to a sneaker that you need for the summertime. But anyways, this is a classic silhouette, very versatile. You could wear it with anything, you know, when you're wearing those linen suits during the summertime weddings. This is the go-to shoe right here. Number four, the Adidas Gazelle. No, Yeezy didn't make me do it. I'm not a hype beast. How can you go wrong with a simple sneaker that has a sweet silhouette and in addition to that, it has a great low cut suede on it and it's perfect for the summertime. As a matter of fact, it screams summertime. As you can see, it has a really nice suede that can really, really add a little bit of pep to your step when you're walking down the street during summertime. Also, as displayed before, you cannot beat this price point of 40 to 80 bucks, which you can find all over the place and in an assortment of colors. Man, oh man, I'll probably end up copying more pairs of Adidas Gazelles because I love them that much and they're that versatile as a sneaker. Number five. And last but not least, the swooshless Air Jordan 1 Low in the white colorway. Man, oh man, these sneakers right here are really, really different in the fact that they don't have that Nike swoosh, being that it's a one. And in addition to that, it has this tumbled leather that resembles that of an elephant skin, which you generally do not see when it comes to sneakers. And it gives you that little extra uniqueness when it comes to your summertime low top sneaker. Now that you guys have seen my top five summer sneakers for 2017 that are under 160 bucks, Casa question 
of the day. What are your go-to sneakers for summertime and why? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, guys. So my sneaker talk is up, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I really, really do appreciate you guys. And I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces. Thank you.